Welcome to Hydraulic Press channel. Hi. I'm Laura. I'm Hanna. And this is hydraulic cylinder that we are going to explore today. And we are going to explore it with hydraulic press. And the idea is really simple as always. Because we are very simple people. Yeah, and I think the, our viewers are also pretty simple. Press goes down and sit goes boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's this week's agenda. And after we have explored the cylinder, we are going to explore again hoses. You wanted to see what happens to ballistic gel, pop, gel pop, no pants, mm -hmm. and how about with the protective sleeve? So you are going to see those after the cylinder. So uh, these normally uh, work in a way that you increase pressure here and then you generate force. But now we are going to do opposite of that. So nothing is going to go in or out. So we are going to plug this end. Like like this. Now it's completely plugged, like the hoses were plugged last week. Then we increase, increase, add water. Yeah, we add some water. Yes. And I don't want to use hydraulic fluid because is going to probably explode and the fluid is going to be fine mist and it might get hot so hot fine oil mist in confined space that's a bit more boom than we necessarily <laughs> need today a bit too much butter yeah like this it's about this full now then piston goes down that. Ooh. I close this. And now this is basically hydraulic press operated pipe bomb. Hmm. So uh, when we push this down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we push this down, it's going to go down. The big press is going to take care of that. But the water doesn't come out, so something is going to something is going to fail. This is the same deal as the last week. Failure yeah. is only option. Yeah, but it's nice to see what is going to fail. Yeah, the, we have options. This might fly, like Mach 5. This might turn into shrapnel, or then this might just like hydroform into larger area diameter, and then it's going to leak, or the piston seals might explode or, or then this is going to just like turn into play-doh and like yeah <laughs> like it's quite long yeah but this is actually uh, this is actually quite short cylinder this was the shortest cylinder available on this size so usually this is much longer I'm going to say that this is going to mushroom out and then the seals are going to leak yeah. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that seals are going to break first. Yeah, nothing for the tube and mm, seals is going no, to break. Seals are always the weakest point. Yeah, but as yeah. I said on the beginning, uh, we are going to also test out again the hoses. So if this doesn't explode, the hoses surely will. Okay, here is the setup. Cylinder is there. And in case that the plug flies, Kelbop no pants is going to catch it. Yeah, here we go. Okay, here it goes. I have wanted to do this like five years, but haven't been brainy, brave enough before this. Okay, here it goes. It got thick on the middle. Yeah, it got. It looks like uh, plumpier. Yeah, let's go have a look. The seals broke. Also, yeah. Yeah. But which was first? I think the, I think you can see it on there because when the seal broke, or I'm not sure if the seal even broke, but it flied like there, mm. and. Uh, there might be like small amount of pressure, but if there would be like, let's say 100 bars, 
that would generate so much force on the piston that it would move it up. So this is like totally safe to handle. Yeah, but that was exciting. It, it, mm, it yeah. got like... And this is also the answer probably what would happen to like solid steel hydraulic lines if you over pressurize them. I think they just like stretch and stretch and stretch. And then there is a small crack. They don't explode like hoses. Mm. Yeah, but that was that wasn't as explosive as I would hope, but still really interesting. Let's try to open this. Ah, oh, it's surprisingly easy. I think if we can lift the piston just straight up from here without any problems. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have just a trick. Yeah. Better trick would be to fill it with oxyacetylene and throw some mm. flame. But I think we are not going to not going to use that that trick right now. Pop. <laughs> the seals are completely fine. Oh, I was wrong. Okay, here is the setup. The cylinder, it's not full water yet. And then we have pop, and under the pop we have our test winner hose from the last week. And I think that this is maybe the last video for pop. I think on, I think the pop is going to be cut in half. Hopefully. What is your opinion? Yeah, I think so too. It would be fun to see. Okay, we are going to fill up the cylinder and explore the pop in half. And we have, of course, pop cam, so you can see the pop's facial expressions on the last moment. Goodbye, pop. The candles oh, turned into smash. Yeah. Oh no, and the sound was like, like very bad. Ooh. Oh, oh my, let's uh -oh. go. <laughs> I didn't realize that the candles like yeah. got vaporized. Yes, I saved the data. Uh, I lift the press slightly. Uh. Okay, let's... Let's see what happened. Did oh. hey, there is like a small hole there. Small hole. Yeah, it's like something has gone through. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. water went through. Maybe. Or <laughs> Bob Bob took it like absolute champ. Yeah, good one, Bob. Very good. How about the end? Pretty much the same as the last yeah, one. Yeah, there is, there is a small, like... Ah, this, part! The, yeah, part! Parts of the hose. Yeah. Is the GoPro still? Ah. The GoPro is okay. But yeah, the candle, that, that hit fast the back wall. And this also. Hmm. Okay, hey, hey, let's go have a look at the high speed. I think, I think we just keep getting more questions rather than answers here. Is there something that hit the acoustic panel? I don't know, there is hole. There's a hole? There's hole. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's definitely go to look at the high speed. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's fast, that's fast. I think we need like, yeah, the water goes through the pop. Yeah. Water goes through pop. 
And I think it's the candle that hit the... Yeah. yeah because it, some it, of the candles, it, yeah. they fly really, really fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they went all pieces. But Bob stays in one piece. Yeah, but uh, now Bob has learned it lesson after like two hose parts, two hose explosion mm. and one injection not, injury. In, injection injury to backside of the Bob. Bob is going to learn his lessons mm. and he's going to put the protective sleeve on top of the next hose. Yeah. And then we are going to see will it work? Yeah. Or not? Will it save Bob? Well, let's let's see that. Yeah, so now we have some protection. It's always a good idea to have some protection if you are about to bust your hoses or hose. <laughs> so it's like also remember to cover all also the tip. Yeah. Okay, let's see does the protection work. Bob is now sideways the like bottom part is already a bit sore mm, from the first yeah. go. I think it kind of worked. Yeah, some kind of. Things work. flew a lot less. Yeah. Then the pop. Mm. Then the pop. Which side hmm. was it? I think it was like, yeah, it was like this, and uh, yeah, Bob is still dead. Yeah, again. Yeah. I think it's less. Yeah. Here is like this. Here is only like this, hmm. but it still goes like very deep. Yeah, like three or four inches. Yeah, it it, it clearly helps, but. Not enough for 1,700 bars. Mm. Doesn't help that much. Yeah. Let's let's see how it's looking like. Oh. 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 oh here is your problem. <laughs> not optimal. Oh. Not optimal indeed. Yeah, That's it's totally accident. messed up. Yeah. Bad. Let's go. Let's go have a look on the high speed. High speed. I have to play these like side by side. Mm. Yeah, that's interesting. Hey, yeah, 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 definitely helps. Yeah. Like, I would say that there is like, like smaller area of total mayhem. Mm. There, there was like small sharp yet through, but the like big impact was much less. Pop didn't even like fly out of the picture like straight yeah, away. No. And the candles didn't turn into like Faber also, mm. so. Yeah, it, it, it works. Pretty good. Yeah, I would say that today's thing that we learned is uh, if you have a shitload of pressure, use steel lines. <laughs> <laughs> steel stretches and hoses explode. And when things explode, Bob gets hurt. Yeah, <laughs> that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day. <laughs>